In this video, we're going to be looking at the evolution of the VM20CH that was developed by Benjamin LaRue in conjunction with the company AM3P. This video is the first iteration, and then we'll move into what it eventually turns into, which looks like a pan mixer, but is an actual herd blower. Let us continue. <clears throat> so in the center is Benjamin LaRue, well-known developer, installer, contractor in France. They're using Chanvre Bat, which is Tradical's branded herd, and they're using their Tradical PF70, which is a pre-formulated hempcrete binder. I'm not suggesting you import it. I'm simply stating what is being used on this project. Now, on this original machine, the herd blower is on one side. The plaster mortar render blower is on the other side, in this case, a binder uh, blower. Pump is a more accurate term. Now, even though the main part of the machine is developed in what looks like a pan mixer, the nozzle stays the same. There are WIPO patents, those are international patent organization. You have to file with them first, and then you file in your respective countries. If you file only in your country, it will only be good for your country. And you will not be able to then file in WIPO and have that carry into any other country. And you risk not being able to protect yourself in any other countries you take your invention to. Someone please get me some herd that looks like that. Now this crew, in the other video you'll see, is his standby crew. He's got these guys and he's been working with them. He is available to come to the United States with obvious per diems, etc., trip charges. But he is a pro, and so is his crew. All right, so let's move into what his second company was, which was Process Chanvre. And this is a great video. There are several others showing him and his machines, but they're all in French. This one uh, has a lot of subtitles that are in English, uh, things that are not self-explanatory. I will explain as we go on. Now, this is the final iteration of the machine. And there it is. It looks like a pan mixer. Everybody knows that's what a pan mixer looks like, but it is not. That is his blowing machine. Now, in this system, you get the blower, and you can see down here in the hose, a cam lock. You get the blower, this unit, which is tow behind, and the nozzle. And you must purchase your own mortar pump, which will pump the binder. Now this is a mix-in nozzle system at the nozzle. Blows in dry, just heard. Blows in wet binder that is mixed with air. And you'll see from this particular video that uh, Process Chanvre and Batiathik and Benjamin LaRue has done a lot of really nice projects. Most of them have been sprayed. And he's quite skilled.
interesting look in that we've got some cladding going on. What happened underneath? I'm not sure. He explained some of it to me. Roof spray in on a permanent shutter, second floor. And that was cork and lime in the other one. This is going to be a blown in cork as opposed to blown in cellulose, which we see quite common, or wet spray cellulose. In Europe. Et pour retrouver l'esprit agricole d'autrefois, le propriétaire a choisi des matériaux issus de la forêt et de l'agriculture. À partir d'une ossature bois, on remplit. Now here they're calling it the D2, but it's really listed as the VM20CH, which is what the hell, anyways. En fait, le déconchon, c'est de la paille de chanvre, donc de la chaîne jaune. And as you can see, this particular machine, as well as several others, lays down quite a bit of material very quickly. This is their curved nozzle. We have a 45 degree that does something similar. La ville de Paris s'intéresse aussi au béton de chanvre dans le cadre de son plan climat. Dans cette immense, many of you will notice some of these projects that have been shown, and you were probably unaware of who was behind them. like this one. Now this really is a great shot. And again, they're calling it the D2. It's the VM20CH. You can see it's relatively small. It looked like it's larger when uh, the first video, first image came up. And you'll see this is paired with this mortar pump. And this is recognizable to me as a product from AM3P which is a French manufacturer. So mixer on the left, dumps into the pumping chamber and pumps. Now you notice three hoses here. The left is the herd being blown. The next hose, quite large, is your binder hose, binder pump, mortar render. These pumps take on a lot of pressure, so they're quite heavy and quite thick. The next hose is the air that mixes at the nozzle. So the air mixes with the binder, aerosolizes the binder, mixes with the herd. And this is one of several hempcrete spraying systems that mix at the nozzle. There are gunites, hempcrete spraying systems that mix at the nozzle, but that's dry binder and dry herd, and that is wetted at the nozzle in a gunite system. There are several hempcrete spraying systems where dry herd is blown in the center and nozzles are on the exterior, much like a wet spray cellulose system, but not quite exactly like that. Because of the viscosity of the binder, it requires a little bit different action than a what's commonly known as a dry, or sorry, a wet cellulose system. Now this is a great look at a laser uh, guiding system as opposed to running a Darby or a long uh, Mason's uh, straight edge as a guide or leveler. And here he's just saying, look at the flexibility of the machine. This is cork. This is a process cork. 
obviously easy to get in France and Europe because the proximity of Portugal. Highly renewable product. Apparently works really well instead of blown in cellulose. And that just means a big project. And this is super interesting. These are curved and Bombay walls. There's a good shot of the system in action. There is no real control over the amount of air that gets pushed in. Uh, our system allows a little more subtlety in the mixing of air and the aerosolation of the binder material. And oftentimes you'll see certain binders have different viscosity. If you're using a clay slip versus a traditional binder. Excellent example of a roof being blown in. And as I said, some of these projects are well known to you already. You probably just were not aware that it was being done by Benjamin LaRue, Batiathique, Procès Chanvre, and the machinery behind it. There you are. Enjoy. Ciao.